Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome once again to the Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International. A kingdom that cannot be shaken. Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International. A kingdom that cannot be shaken. At nagpapatuloy po. At lumalakas pa. At nagtatagumpay pa. Continually airing victoriously over radio and television program over radio and television the does say of the Lord programs sa radio at television ito ang sabi ng Panginoon does say of the Lord yan po ay napapakinggan napapanood sa radio at television so brethren please uh, continually watch and listen patuloy po nating pakinggan at panuorin po ang ang programa ng ito ang sabi ng Panginoon sa radio po at television no ipagimbita rin po natin mga minamahal invite others to listen and watch ano po atin din pong ipagimbita uh, upang uh, marami pong uh, manood at uh, makinig ng programang ito ang sabi ng Panginoon Glory to God at mga binamahal atin pong ipanalangin panalangin po natin na at hindi lamang ipanalangin ano po no at tayo po ay sumuporta sumuporta po ng patuloy upang sa ganoon po ay hindi lamang magpatuloy kung hindi lumakas pa, madagdagan pa yung ating pong uh, programa sa radio at uh, television. Nawaan po ba natin yun mga minamahal? Glory to God. So kinakailangan po natin na hindi lamang po tayo makapagpatuloy, tayo po ay lumakas pa, madagdagan pa po yung ating pong uh, programa sa radio at television. Unawaan po ba natin yun mga minamahal? At uh, lalo pang mas marami pa ang uh, mahaligtas, gumaling, tumanggap ng kagalingan himala, maranasan ng kabutihan ng Diyos, madala sa kanilang high calling and perfect destiny in Jesus Christ. So kinakailangan po mga minamahal na patuloy pong uh, mag-ere, no? Hindi lamang po patuloy na mag-ere. Sabi nga po sa inyo ay patuloy pa pong uh, lumakas pa po. Amin po ba? So, purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos na buhay. At huwag nating kalilimutan yung ating uh, KOJF Church YouTube channel. Ano po? KOJF Church uh, YouTube channel. I-like, share, and i-subscribe po natin yan, mga minamahal. Like, share, and uh, subscribe the Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International Facebook fan page and the KOJF Church YouTube channel. Naunawaan po ba natin, mga minamahal? Like, share, subscribe, follow, The Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International Facebook fan page and the KOJF Church YouTube channel. Yan. Huwag natin kalilimutan yan, mga minamahal. Glory to God. At mga minamahal ay patuloy po nating uh, ipag-iimbita ang ating pong mga gawain saan mga Uh, panig ng daigdig na ito Glory to God Sa anumang panig ng daigdig na ito Ay ipag-impita po natin ang ating mga gawain In every parts of this world no? Invite others to be a partner To join the Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International And establish the Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International in every places in this uh, present world kailangan po mga minamahal na lahat po ng tao sa mundong ibabo na ito ay 
madala sa kaharian ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Yan, maligtas, makatanggap ng kagalingan at himala, maranasan ng kabutihan ng Diyos, madala sa highest calling and perfect destiny in Jesus Christ. Glory to God. So, brethren, that is our, this is our aim, our, our motive, our purpose. This is our desire, our, our will. This is our goal. This is our mandate coming from the Lord to bring the nations of the world to the real salvation of Jesus. To the real salvation of Jesus. In order for the world to receive healing, miracle, success, victory, to experience the goodness of God, and to let the world do the will of God till the last breath of our lives. So, puri ng pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, huwag natin kalilimutan yan, mga minamahal. Yung napakagandang layuhin ng Panginoon. Para sa bayang ito sa buong mundo, kasabay nito ay magamit tayo ni Lord more mightily, effectively in this final hour. Purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos na buhay. Alleluia. Glory to God. So, mga minamahal, kung tayo po ay handa na, if you are now ready, at naniniwala ako, nariyan na ang Bible sa iyong harapan, ang iyong notebook at ang iyong pen, upang sa ganun ay samahan mo ako, sa ating pag-aaral sa oras na ito. Glory to God. So purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoon. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So once again, no? To all Filipino people and to all people of the earth, all citizens of the world, this is the Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International. A kingdom that cannot be shaken. An unsectarian apostolic ministry. Glory to God. Bringing uh, the nations of the world to the real salvation of Jesus. In order for the world to, to receive healing and miracle. And to experience the goodness of God. And uh, to bring the world to its highest calling. And that is to do the will of God till the last breath of our lives. To be with Christ, to be for Christ, and uh, to live for Christ till the last breath of our lives. So, purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos. So, continually like, follow, share, subscribe the Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International Facebook fan page and the KOJF Church YouTube channel. Invite others also to like, share, subscribe, and follow. Share the videos to your loved ones and friends. Share the sayings. All that are being posted in the KOJF Church YouTube channel and the Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International Facebook fan page. Share it to your loved ones and friends. Glory to God. And continually watch and listen the radio and television programs of the Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International. Ito ang sabi ng Panginoon, Thus saith the Lord, Invite others to watch and listen, Pray for its victory, and support financially. Glory to God. Gusto ko pong ipaalam sa inyong lahat. Nagpapatuloy po ang ating ministeryo at lumalaki, lumalawak, lumalakas, lumalagot, dumadami. Our ministry continually, victoriously growing, expanding, reaching the Philippine Island and the nations of the world because of your uh, continuous prayer and fasting and continuous uh, financing uh, 
the, 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 the kingdom of Jesus fellowship financially supporting the kingdom of Jesus fellowship sa so, purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos so, sa mga oras na ito ay <clears throat> tayo po ay matalangin na taas po natin ang ating dalawang kamay patungan ng langit shall we pray Heavenly Father in Jesus name na malapit kami Panginoon na punong puno ng expectation full of expectancy in our hearts Father God This, today is, a, is a, the day of our salvation of our healing, of our miracle of our success and victory and deliverance and this is a time of our jubilee this is a time that you will grant the good request of our hearts and anoint us more Returns us more, giving us your glory more to be used by you more mightily, effectively in this final hour. Tunay nga po, Ama, binubuhos mo, manakas mo, kapangyarihan sa amin ngayon, ang iyong kalakasan, ang iyong katatagan, Panginoon, upang sa ganoon ay magamit niyo pa kami more mightily, effectively in this final hour. So ngayon pa lamang, dakilang Ama, gusto ka na namin pasalamatan. We just want to thank you, Lord. For all the beautiful things that you are doing in our lives and continually doing in our lives. Truly, O Lord, you who began a good work in us, Ikaw na nagpasimula ng magandang bagay sa aming mga buhay, Panginoon, ay itinutuloy mo ito hanggang kawakasan. You who began a good work in us, you are fulfilling it, Lord, till your second coming till the rapture of the church comes. So Father, glorify your name through the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. So purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos na buhay. Buksan po natin sa aklat po ng Amos 3.3. Buksan po natin ang ating mga Biblia sa Amos 3.3. Shall we open our, our Bible in the book of Amos chapter 3 verse 3? Amos 3, 3 mga minamahal. Buksan po natin. Ito po ang sabi rito sa Amos 3, 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Can two walk together except they be agreed? Sa Tagalog, makakalakad baga ang dalawa na magkasama o magkakasama ba ang dalawa? Liba na sila ay magkasundo? So brethren, the, the simple message, the short message entitled Choose the right partner Choose the right partner, partner. Piliin mo ang tamang partner yeah. Choose the right partner Piliin mo ang tamang partner Pag sinabi mong partner Ito ay, it speaks of your friends It speaks of your boyfriend, your girlfriend. It speaks of your spouse to be or companion all the days of your life or uh, yung lagi mong nakakasama. Yan, pag sinabi mong partner, kaibigan mo, kasintahan mo, mapapangasawa mo o maaaring partner in business o pati na rin yung mga gusto mong iboto ilagay sa posisyon sa bansang ito o saan mang uh, pamumuno no it speaks also for a leader that you want to put in a position yan naunawaan po ba natin so napakaganda ng mensaheng ito ha napakaganda ng mensaheng ito but before that ay nais lamang nating magpasalamat sa Panginoon sapagkat wala pong tigil ang mga uh, message na pinaparating sa atin for counseling and prayer requests. Glory to God. So, basahin ko lang po yung isang uh, mensaheng na tanggap ko kasi we are receiving uh, messages asking for prayer, asking for counseling, And uh, we are receiving uh, messages also 
a message of uh, thanksgiving, a message of testimony of what the Lord is doing to our ministry and to their lives. So, basahin ko lamang po yung isa. Sabi rito, a blessed day po, Apostle. Praise Jesus forever. Amen and amen. Magaling na po. Si, hindi ko na babanggitin yung pangalan niya. Maraming salamat po sa prayer ninyo. To God be all the glory forever. Sabing ganoon. And ever, amen and amen. God bless you po forever and your family and the KOJF ministry. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen. Yeah, isa pong message yan ng testimony. Na unawa ang po natin. Inuulit ko po, lagi tayong nakakatanggap halos araw-araw ng mga minsahi para para ipanalangin, para payuhan at minsahi ng pasasalamat sa kabutihan ng Dios sa ating ministerio sa kanilang mga buhay. So. <clears throat> Ngayon po ay pag-aralan po natin Choose the right partner Yan Naunawaan po ba natin Choose the right partner Buksan po natin mga minamahal Sa aklat po ng uh, Ikalawang Korinto 6 Ikalawang Korinto 6 Tingnan po natin 2 Corinthians chapter 6 2 Corinthians chapter 6 beginning verse 14 up to verse 17 2 Corinthians 6 14 up to verse 17 Do not be yoked together with unbelievers Huwag kang makikipamatok makikisama sa mga hindi mananampalataya For what do righteousness and wickedness have in common or what fellowship can light have with darkness yung matuwid at saka hindi matuwid yung liwanag at saka yung kadiliman pwede mo daw ba itong uh, pagsamahin pwede mo ba itong uh, pwede ba itong magkaroon ng uh, pakikipag-isa what harmony is there between Christ and Belial or what does a believer have in common with the unbeliever ang narobong pagkakaisa ni Kristo at saka ni Belial speaks of Satan Ano do ba ang pagkakaisa ng mga mananampalataya sa hindi mananampalataya? What agreement is there between the temple of God and the idols? For we are the temple of the living God. E ano do ba ang pakikipag-isa ng uh, mga templo ng Diyos sa hindi templo ng Diyos? At tayo ro pong mga Kristiyano ay mga templo ng Diyos. We Christians are temple of God. We are temples of the living God. As God has said, I will live with them and walk among them, and I will be their God, and they will be my people. Ako ay sasama sa kanila, magiging Diyos nila, at magiging tao ko sila. Therefore, come out from them and be separate, says the Lord. That's no unclean thing, and I will receive you. Do not be yoked together with unbelievers for what do righteousness and wickedness have in common or what fellowship can light have with darkness, what harmony is there between Christ and Belial or what does a believer have in common with an unbeliever, what agreement is there between the temple of God and the idols for we are the temple of the living God. As God has said, I will live with them and walk with them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Therefore, come out from them and be separate, says the Lord. That's no unclean thing, and I will receive you. Napaka simple lang naman ang sinasabi rito ng Panginoon. Kung ikaw ay isang Kristiyanong tao na bubuhay sa liwanag, templo ka ng Diyos, ay hindi ka dapat nakikisa sa mga hindi mananampalataya, sa templo ng mga Diyos-Diyosan, sa kadiliman, kisatanas, kibilyal. If you are a Christian, a temple of God, living in the light, Christ is your Lord. So do not be in agreement, in harmony with the unbelievers. There's no harmony between Christ and Belial, he speaks of Satan. And the Bible declares, come out from them, it means be separate. No, leave them, says the Lord. 
So naunawaan po nga natin mga minamahal. So hindi ko na po ito papakahaba-habain ha. Dapat mo po itong maintindihan. Pag sinabi mong partner, yan ay kasintahan, kaibigan, mapapangasawa mo, mga partner in business, o yung uh, inilalagay mo sa posisyon na magiging bahagi ka, naunawaan mo ba natin, kagaya nito sa ating bansa o sa anumang grupo o sa anumang samahan, maglalagay ka ng leader yan, ay eh, magiging kabahagi ka riyan, piliin mo yung tamang partner. Choose your right partner. Brethren, the Bible, you know many are saying, tell me, Who your friends are? Tell me, tell me who your partner are, partners are, and I will tell you your future. Tell me who your partners are, your friends are, or partners, and I will tell you your future. You know your future is at, is at stake in choosing the right partner. Isipin mo ito ang kinabukasan mo, ang nakatayari to. Kaya kinakailangan piliin mo ang tamang kinakasama mo at makakasama mo. Kaibigan mo, kapartner mo, kasintahan mo. Piliin mo yung ibuboto mo na ilalagay mo sa, 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 sa posisyon. Kasi nakataya rito ang future ng ating bansa. Ano mang grupo at samahan, piliin mo yung ilalagay mo riyan. Kasi nakataya riyan ang future ng samahan. Naunawaan po ba natin? Not just the present but the future. You know, in choosing the right partner, you know, your future is at stake. Yan, yan eh. Pag nagkamali ka ng kasintahan, dadaling ka niyan sa impero, dadaling ka niyan sa kapahamakan, sa kaparewaraan. Pag nagkamali ka ng mapapangasawa, dadaling ka niyan sa impero, magiging magulo ang buhay mo. Wala, wala kang katahimikan, wala kang kapayapaan. If you will... If you will not choose the right girlfriend or the right boyfriend, if you will not choose the right partner, the right spouse, you know, it, uh, that person will lead you to hell. And your future will become chaotic. No peace. There, there will be always war. No happiness, no joy, no gladness. The Bible declares in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and the future. Nice ng Panginoon, ang magandang kinabukasan. Hindi mapariwara, hindi mapahamak. And the Lord is uh, saying to us, Seek me diligently with all, your, uh, with all of your heart and you will find me. Pray to me sincerely and I will grant the, the, the good request of your heart. Kung ahanapin daw natin ang, ang, ang mukha ng Diyos, ng totohanan, sincero, sasagot daw ang Diyos. Ibibigay sa atin ng tamang kasintahan, tamang mapapangasawa. Ibibigay sa atin ng sa mga tamang kaibigan at tamang iboboto. Naunawaan po natin, if we will seek diligently, sincerely, no, the face of God, the will of God, and the Lord will reveal unto us the right person, the right friend, the, the right partner, the right spouse, the right business, the right course, the right politicians to be both no para maiboto to be put in the in the, in the position na unawaan po natin bakit po nagkakamali ang marami eh hindi kasi nagtatanong sa Diyos hindi po nagtatanong kasi sa Panginoon eh banat lang ng banat bira lang ng bira atake lang ng atake walang pagsangguni sa Panginoon many are in trouble Because of not consulting the Lord. Yeah. 
In the book of Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it says, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, the Lord, the God, and He shall direct your path. In the Living Translation, it says, He will crown your effort with success. Magtiwala ka raw sa Panginoon ng buong puso mo. Huwag kang patalos-talos dyan. Huwag kang pabigla-bigla. Hindi nag-isip. Hindi nagbabalak. Hindi nagpaplano. Hindi nagtatanong sa Panginoon. Kundi hindi sumasanggunin sa Diyos. Sa lahat daw ng oras, sanggunin mo siya. Itutumpak niya ang iyong mga landas. Bibigyan niya ng tagumpay, karangalan ng lahat ng iyong gagawin. Maliwanag po ba yun, mga minamahal? You know, This message must be heard but must be heard by all Filipino people. This message must be heard by by all the citizens of the world. This message must be heard by the all the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, all the leaders in the body of Christ. Because this message is not just a one-time message. This is a manual of our living. This is a manual for a better future. Naunawaan po natin mga minamahal, ito po ay hindi pang-pang ngayon lang na dapat mapakinggan. Ito'y dapat may isang abuhay sapagat ito ang maghahatid sa atin sa takatagumpayan ng ating buhay ngayon at sa darating na manahon. Pati sa pagpasok natin ng kalangitan. So if you want to go to heaven, if you want to be victorious, If you are desiring for a better future, so choose the right partner. Tingnan mo yung mga kaibigan mo. Tingnan mo sino-sino ba yung mga kaibigan mo dyan. Yung mga kagamer yan. Mga nagmumura. Masasakit magsalita. Patayin, patayin. Sino ba yung mga ibuboto mo yan? Mga corrupt. Whom you will vote? The corrupt politicians. Those who are not uh, returning what they stole from the government, from the people. Check your friends. Cursing, cursing. Drunk hard person. Smoking, gambling. Effeminate. Womanizer. And... Manizer. <laughs> Wala namang English na gano'n, no? Womanizer, babaero. And those who are a play girl. Oh. Tell me who your friends are, who your partners are in the business. Are they righteous people? Whom you will vote, are they righteous people? Tell me your partners in the business, are they righteous people? People? Tell me who your friends in your gaming, in your games, are they righteous people? Tell me your 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 girlfriend, is he, is she a righteous woman? Tell me your boyfriend, is he a righteous boyfriend? Tell me that person you want to become a spouse. Mabuti bang tao yan, ginugusto mong mapangasawa? Yung kaibigan mo na yan, yung ibuboto mo na yan. Yung kapartner mo sa business. Mabuti ba yan mga minamahal? Kaya nga po, di nila kayo ng Lord sa Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship. The Lord brought you here and become a partner of this God-given ministry in order for you to go to heaven and to be blessed in every areas and aspects of your lives. Eh kaya nga po, di nila kayo ng Diyos dito eh. Ginawa kayong partner ng Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship eh. Para kayo pumasok ng langit. At uh, makatanggap ng kagaling at himala para nasa ng kabutihan ng Diyos. At magamit ni Lord more mightily, effectively in this final hour. Naunawaan po ba ninyo? So choose the right partner. Do not be in agreement. Do, do not be in harmony. Do not be in partnership with the wrong people, with the wrong person. You have so many classmates, but choose among that classmates will be your friend. You have so many neighbors, you have so many classmates, you have so many office mates, workmates. 
you know there are so many girl and the uh, boy in this uh, present world choose the right partner that is the message choose the right partner piliin mo ang tamang partner kaibigan kasintahan mapapakasawa makakasama sa business nakakalaro kakwentuhan kapalitaan piliin mo piliin mo ibuboto mo sapagat nakatayarin ng pagpasok mo ng langit nakatayarin ng iyong kinabukasan naunawaan po natin mga minamahal glory to God hallelujah Inuulit ko, kaya nga kayo dinala ng Diyos sa Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship. The reason why the Lord brought you here in the Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship to become a partner of this ministry because this ministry is a right partner. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, tingnan po natin mga minamahal. No? yung uh, sinasabi ng Amos 3.3 Amos 3.3 Amos 3.3 in the Old Testament Amos 3.3 in the Old Testament Do walk Do two Do, do, do two walk together unless they have agreed to me hmm. yan po ay sa New Living Translation na unawaan po natin yan dito basahin po natin sa sa King James Version Amos 3.3 King James Version tingnan po natin hindi na natin, hindi na natin to papakahaba-habaan pa hindi naman kinakailangan habaan pa kinakailangan ay itara ito ng malalim sa inyong mga puso you know Long message is good. But you know, whether it is just a short message, the most important thing, the message must be penetrated into our hearts. Must change us and must bring us to our destiny in Christ. Hallelujah. Yung po ang mahalaga ron eh. Yung mahabang mensahe, maganda yun. Pero kahit maikling mensahe lang, ayos na. Ang mahalaga, baguhin ka. Tumarak sa puso mo ito. At makarating ka sa mabuti mong patutunguhan, sa mataas mong patutunguhan, sa manuwalhati mong patutunguhan. To your glorious, victorious, wonderful destiny in Christ. Alleluia! Ano pong sabi ng Amos 3.3? Can two walk together unless they are agreed? Ayun yun eh. Pwede raw ba na magsama ang dalawang tao na sila ay hindi naman nagkakaisa? Makakalakad baga ang dalawa na magkasama liba na sila ay magkasundo? <coughs> Nahunawaan po natin mga minamahal. Makakalakad baga ang dalawa na magkasama liba na sila ay magkasundo? You know, the election is getting nearer and nearer. Don't be, don't be, uh, wag kang madadala ng mga fake news, fake trolls, and fake trolls. Alam mo, yung mga You know, the bad politicians, the corrupt politicians, those who have wicked allies, those who have, uh, those who stole money from people, from the government, you know, they have plenty of money to spend in, uh, in paid trolls, paid trolls and paid news to spread paid news in order for the people to vote them. Pinapabangon nila yung mga sarili nila. Ginagamit nila yung kanilang masasamang alay. Ginagamit nila yung kanilang mga ninaho na pero sa tao, sa taong bayan, sa bansa, upang uh, sila ay manatili sa posisyon o manalo. 
Bath. Never again. Never forget all the wickedness that they did to the Filipino people and to, 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 to the nation. And we should not allow again the wickedness to prosper. At hindi pa pahintulutan uli ng Diyos yan. Nakikinig pa po ba tayo? Makinig ka pong mali ay makinig ka pong maigi sa akin. Alam nyo, kaawa-awa ang maraming kristyano. Ito yung sinasabi ng maraming kristyano. Panginoon, napakabuti mo. Araw-araw akong nagkakamali, pinapatawad mo ako. Araw-araw akong nagkakamali, pinapatawad ka ng Diyos. Araw-araw akong nagkakasala, pinapatawad ka ng Diyos. Totoo, pinapatawad ka ng Diyos. Pero ang tindi mo naman, araw-araw akong nagkakasala, araw-araw akong nagkakamali. Dapat hindi mo man lang mamasahe, masabi na araw-araw sumusunod ka sa Diyos. Oh my gulay. You know, many are saying, Oh Lord, daily I, I am committing sins and yet you are, you are, uh, you, you forgive me. Oh my goodness. Eh bakit hindi mo ito sabihin? Lord, daily I am obeying you, not failing you because I love you. You know? It is a, it is a much better pronouncement. Nakutamaan po ba natin ito? Mm. Yung tama-tama naman na ang Diyos nagpapatawad. Pero ang problema ng marami, araw-araw daw -araw silang nagkakasala, araw-araw daw silang nagkakamali. Araw-araw daw silang naghihina, naglalamig, inaahon, binabangon, tinatayo sila ng Diyos, pinapatawad. Eh, bakit hindi ka magpakalakas? Bakit hindi mo naman sabihin, Panginoon, maraming problema, pagsubok laban ng buhay, pero salamat sa iyong kalakasan, matataga ko, patibay! Dapat gano'n naman. Kaya po, makinig po kayo maigi ha? Opo, marami pong kristyano sa Pilipinas sa buong mundo. Pero kababapaw. I said kababapaw. Kaya nga inaalis ka ng Diyos sa mababaw na kristyanismo eh. Ma mababaw na Diyos, mababaw na pananampalataya. You know, the Lord is delivering you, rescuing you, removing you from the shallow Christianity. They are, they are continually declaring because God is a God of forgiveness. Even though they commit sins daily. The Lord forgive them daily. Oh my goodness. E mabuti mo, kahit man lang sana, sinabi mo eh. Linggo-linggo, nagkakasala ako isang beses sa isang linggo. E sabihin mo pa ba naman, araw-araw nagkakasala ka? Oh may gulay. Naunawaan po ninyo ako. Ito po yan eh, kasi nagkalat po yan sa Facebook eh. Nagkalat po yung deklarasyon po ng mabababaw na kristyano eh. Araw-araw, nagkakasala ako, pero ang Diyos, pinapatahawad ako. Hindi ako tinatanggi, hindi ako tinataboy. Ay, purihin ng Panginoon eh. Araw-araw? Oh may gulay, bakit di mo man lang sabihin, isang beses, isang linggo, nagkasala ako. Nagkakasala ako. O sabihin mo man lang, <laughs> twice a week, twice a month. Eh, oh my gulay, daily you are committing sins. You are daily are you are committing mistakes. You are living in sin daily. Oh my goodness. You know, God is a forgiving God. But, you should not commit mistakes daily. This is shallow Christianity. Declaring to the world that God is a forgiving God. And they don't want to get out of sins. Ayun nila umalis sa pagkakasala. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Piliin mo yung right ministry. Choose the right ministry. Be the right. Choose the right partner in the ministry. Pag sinabi mo kasing partner, so magwawakas na po ako ha, magkuklose na po ako. Pag sinabi mo kasing partner, yung mga kasama mo sa ministeryo, ano ba ang ano ba gusto mo? Pupunta kayo sa impyerno, mabababo kayo, maihina kayo, mga lupaypay kayo. Sino ba ang gusto mong ibiboto? Yung mga magnanakaw, yung mga kurak, yung mga overpriced, yung mura ng mura, patayin, patayin. Hindi kayang durugin yung kriminalidad at saka yung droga. 
yung mga ninanakaw yung ating uh, bansa ng China, hindi tayo pinagtatanggol. Sino ba? Sino ba ang gusto mong iboto? Sino ba ang gusto mong mga kaibigan? Yung bakla, yung tombo, yung babaero, lalakero, umiinom ng alak, nagdadrags, nagsusugal, yung mga babisbaksalanan, yun ba ang gusto mo? Sino ba ang gusto mong kasintahan, mapapangasawa, yung dadaling ka sa impyerno, yung mapapariwara yung buhay mo, na torete ka araw, araw-araw, torete ka na lang? Sino ba ang gusto mong kaibigan? Oh. And this is the message. Choose the right partner. Choose the right partner. Why? Number one, because uh, going to heaven or to have eternal life is at stake. Secondly, your future is at stake. Partner means friends, companions, boyfriend or girlfriend or spouse or partner in the ministry partner in business or the candidate that you are choosing that you are choosing to, to be put in a position choose the right partner naunawaan po ba natin ito mga kapatid how to choose the right partner how to choose the right partner Number one, write it down. Don't be in a hurry. Huwag kasi pa bigla-bigla. Huwag kasi pa dalos-dalos. Don't be in a hurry. <coughs> Yung iba kasi pa bigla-bigla eh. Number two, make a survey. Mag-survey ka pag tanong-tanong ka. Number one, don't be in a hurry. Number two, Mag-survey ka. Mag-survey ka. Magtanong-tanong ka. Naunawaan po ba natin? And, thirdly, pray to the Lord. Pray to the Lord. Oh. If you will do all these things, I tell you, you will have a better future. You will not commit mistake. Naunawaan po ba natin? Kasi yung mga padalos-dalos, pabigla-bigla, walang nangyayari rin, hindi ba nag-iisip? Bahala na! Ito na lang isang sagot ko, ito na lang pipiliin ko, ito na lang iboboto ko. Bahala na! Ito na lang yung magiging kaibigan ko, ito na lang yung iligaw ko, ito na lang yung magiging kasintahan ko, ito na lang yung mapapangasawa ko. Bahala na! Ito na lang yung kursong kukunin ko. Bahala na! Ito na lang, ito na lang yung mag, ito na lang yung magiging partner ko sa business, socio ko sa business. Bahala na dito na lang ako sa ministerio ito. Bahala na, bahala na. Puro kasi bahala eh. Nakikinig pa po ba tayo? Hindi po ganoon. Hindi po ganoon. So don't be in a hurry. Wag nagmamadali. So make a survey. Magtanong tanong Seek a righteous counsel. Seek a, God, a godly counsel. Magtanong-tanong tayo. Pray. Then add a, a fast. Do not eat. Oh. Or do not drink and eat just for the meantime. No more uh, oh, abstain from uh, anything that hinders you. In communion with God. Abstain. Umiwas ka muna. Sa mga humahad lang. Para hindi mo makuha ang sagot ng Panginoon. Naunawaan po ba ninyo ako? So, very very simple message. Very basic. But uh, your future is at stake. So, choose the right partner. And how to choose the right partner? So, don't be in a hurry. Survey, make a survey. Seek godly and uh, righteous counsel. Oh, diba? Pray. That's it. And we will not commit mistake. Naunawa ako ba ninyo? So purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos sa buhay. Ulitin ko ulit ha. Pag sinabi mong partner, kaibigan mo, 
kasama mo sa buhay, kasama mo sa bahay, ibuboto mo, kasosyo mo, kasama mo sa ministry, kasintahan mo o mapapangasawa mo, ibig sabihin magig magig magkakaroon ka ng bahagi sa kanya. Partner means you will have fellowship with that person. You will have bonding with that person. That person will lead you to heaven, will help you to go to heaven. That person will encourage you, will will uh, will be a so, uh, will be an instrument of God to 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 bring you to your highest calling and perfect destiny in Christ in order for you to be saved, to experience healing and miracle from God, to experience the goodness of God. Mm. You know, your partner will help you to fulfill your destiny. Your partner will help you to go to heaven, to have a build back, to have a better future. That is a, a, a right partner. Naunawaan mo, ang tamang partner, may sasaya ka, you will be happy, you will be glad, you will be joyful. Sasaya ka, sisigla ka. Gaganda ang buhay mo, liliwanan. Papasok ka ng langit. Aangat ang buhay mo, lalakas, titipay, tatatag. Yun yun eh. Brethren, listen very carefully before I close. So many religions, so many churches, so many social media ministries, so many radio and television ministries, programs, but choose the right partner. Choose the right radio and television programs. Choose the right church, the right ministry. Piliin mo yung pipi, ipapakinggan mo, dadalohan mo, ipapanalangin mo, ipag-aayon mo at susuportahan mo. Hmm. Yes, you are giving your tithes and offerings to the Lord. And yet, you are sending it to, ra- to, to wrong ministry. Pakinig ka pong maigi sa akin. Pag kumain ka ng restaurant, nabusog ka. Magbayad ka. Magbayad ka. Kasi kumain ka sa restaurant na yan, nabusog ka eh. So magbayad ka. Nak- nakikinig pa po ba tayo? Kasi pag di ka magbabayad, kayong kumakain sa restaurant na yan at di kayo magbabayad, babagsak yung restaurant na yan. Ganon din sa, sa ministeryo. Sa ministeryo, alam mong pinapanalangin ka, pinag-aayuno ka sa programa, sa sa, sa, sa sa television, sa social media, na napapakinabangan mo, binibless ka, So pay your tithes and offerings. Ibayaran mo ang ikaw mo, tandog, ibigay mo. Pay your tithes and offerings. To the radio, to the television ministry, to the social ministry, to the ministry that are praying for you, counsel always, uh, always there to counsel you, to help you. Nakikinig pa po ba tayo? Nakunawaan po ba natin? Ganun po yun mga minamahal eh. Alam po ninyo maraming nagte-text, maraming nagme-message. Pinapaasikaso ko yan sa mga kapatiran natin. Pero pag nakita ko mahalaga ako na mismo ang tumatawag sa kanila. Pag importante lalo na buhay ang nakataya, ako na mismo ang tumatawag sa kanila. So many messages we are receiving. And uh, I assign brethren to, to, to help them, to pray for them, to advise them. But uh, if I think the message is uh, very essential, very important, most especially it's about uh, life and the future, eternal life. No, you know, I I attend to that uh, person. Ako na mismo nagkakasikaso, nakikinig pa po ba tayo? Ganon po yun mga minama. Nakunawa ang buwa natin, mga minamahal. So choose the right partner. So purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos sa buhay. Urarabashiri libiyan, dararabahanda. Sa oras na ito, bago tayong magwakas, iwasan mo na, bitawan mo na, ang hindi tamang pinapanood mo at pinapakinggan mo. Bitawan mo na, iwanan mo na yung mga taong hindi naman okay. Bitawan mo na, iwanan mo na. Lahat ng dapat mong bitawan ay hindi sa'yo magdadala sa langit. Layuan mo na, iwasan mo na. Iwasan mo na yan. 
yung hindi gigaganda ang future mo. Iwasan mo na yan. You have a fraternity, you have gang, you have sorority. You know, you have classmates, you have batchmates, you have office mates, you have co-alumni. You know, many, many sutor, sutors or you are a, a courting a girl finding the right uh, business, partner in the business, partner in the right ministry, or uh, finding a right spouse, brethren, apply the Word of God. Apply the Word of God. The Word of God will not fail you. Hindi hindi ka bibigoyin ng Diyos. Kung uh, i-apply mo itong salita ng Diyos. Kung i-apply mo ang salita ng Diyos, hindi hindi ka bibigoyin ng Diyos. Naunawaan po ba natin mga minamahal? Naunawaan po ba natin mga minamahal? Hindi hindi ka bibigoyin ng Diyos. Pag in-apply po natin ito. So sa oras na ito, maaring masabi mo, Man of God, meron ako rito ang memory. May pinagsamahan kami. Yes, you have memory. He or she is your companion, your, your partner for a, a long, long time. But you know, if, if, if uh, that person will lead, will lead you to hell, and you will have no better future, so you have to leave that person. Kailangan bitawan, iwanan. Nagiginig pa mo ba tayo? Kagaya nga ng pinayuhan ko. O meron siyang fraternity. Ay yung kapraternity, kapraternity niya, nagkaroon ng kaaway. Sinamahan niya, ay nagkaroon ng trouble. O nakasaksak siya. Hindi ba? Hindi okay. Dahil sa kapraternity mo. You know, sometimes, your friends will become uh, an instrument for you not to have a better future. Kaya magandang paalala po ito eh. So, mga magulang, mga kuya, mga ate, mga pastor, mga pastora, mga matatanda, the elders, the adults, the preachers, the mothers and the fathers, please, lead the young to a better future. Gabayan natin sila sa mabuting kinabukasan. Alam mo, meron nga isang kandidato, nag-fail ka pa pa yung palang eh. Lumabas na kaagad yung mga illegal message pa to. Pumapabor sa kanya eh. Yes, a candidate. While he is filing his candidacy, text messages, you know, illegal text messages, no? Received by many in favor of that candidate. You see? Naunawaan po ba natin? Duma alam ba ng NTC? Hindi. Hindi matrace eh. Ito ba ay galing sa Globe, sa Dito, sa Smart, sa Sun, sa Token Text, sa Tats Mobile? Hindi rin. Illegal message nga eh. Please, Filipino people, choose the right candidate. If you want this nation to have a better future. Filipino people, not only the Filipino people, but all the peoples of the earth. Lahat ng mga nakikinig at nanonood, those who are watching and listening right now, choose the right partner. And Proverbs 17, 17, the better partner, the best partner forever, and that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Come to me, all you are weary and heavily laden. Come to me and I will give you rest. Mabuting kapartner. Kapartner sa habang buhay. Never leave you nor forsake you. Hindi ka iiwanan. Hindi ka bibiguin. Hindi ka pagtataksilan. 
Haleluya. Walang iba kundi ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. God became man. And he he is the Lord Jesus Christ. Died on the cross of the Calvary in order for us to be saved, to be healed, to receive miracle from the Lord, to become rich, to supply all our needs and to give us a better future. Kaya lahat po ng mga nakikinig at nanonood, lahat po na nang dito, iniimbitahan ko po kayong maging ka-partner si Jesus Christ. Pagkagawin mong ka-partner si Jesus Christ ngayon, matatawarin ka, pagkagalingin ka, tatanggap ka ng himala, masosolve ang lahat ng problema, pagsubok laban ng buhay mo, sapagat walang imposible sa kanya. Nakunawaan po natin, if you will make Jesus Christ your partner today, He will save you, He will heal you, perform miracle, and grant the good request of your heart. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He will solve your problem. No matter how big, how difficult, how hard your problems are, God can fix it. God can solve it. He is a miracle working God. What is impossible with you and with us, what is impossible with men, are all possible with God. Kaya sa oras na ito, meron ka bang reliyon, may sekta, may denominasyon, bininyagan, binotismohan, kinatisismo, dinoktrinahan? Kung hindi pa sa Jesus ang iyong kapartner, hindi pa sa Jesus ang iyong Diyos, Panginoon at Tagapaglitas, iniimbitahan kita ang gawin mo na ngayon. So I am inviting you right now, make Jesus Christ as your Lord God and Savior, make Jesus Christ as your partner. And I tell you, at this very moment, ngayon mismo, at this very moment, sasagot ang sa'yo, at sasagot sa'yo ang Diyos. God will grant the good request of your heart. At this moment, and at this moment, God will go, will, uh, will, will, uh, will write your name in the book of life. Isusulat mismo ng Diyos ang pangalan mo sa kalat ng buhay sa kalantan. So tayong lahat ay umukaw at tumigit. Tayong lahat ay umukaw at tumigit. Shall we leave our both hands to Jesus and shall we bow down our heads and close our eyes? Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, through the power of the Holy Spirit, beginning this day, I ask your forgiveness. I ask the cleansing for power of your holy blood. Forgive me all of, for all of my sins and iniquities. Mula pagkabata hanggang sa kasalukuyan, Panginoon, since my childhood days, until now, Father God, lahat po ng kasalanan kong nagawa sa isip, salita, sinadya man o hindi sinasadya, ever since I commit, Lord, in words, in deeds, intentionally or unintentionally, God, forgive me, Cleanse me with your holy blood. Dinisin mo ako ng inyong dugo, Ama. And write my name in the book of life. At mula po sa oras sa ito, beginning this day, kinagawa kitang partner ng buhay ko. Huwag mo akong iwanan, huwag mo akong hiwalayan, tulungan mo ako, patnubayan mo ako, gabayan mo po ako. Beginning this day, I am making you my partner. And Father, allow me na to be a strayed away. To once again, to be departed from you, allow it not, Lord, in Jesus' name. Come into my heart. Be the Lord God and Savior of my life. Pumasok ka sa aking puso, dakilang Diyos. Ikaw na ang aking Panginoon at Tagapagliktas. Itala mo ang aking pangalan sa arlat ng buhay sa kalanda. And Lord, ipaalam niyo po sa amin, kung sino ang tamang kaibigan, sino ang tamang iboboto, sino ang tamang kapartner, sino ang tamang kasintahan, sino ang tamang asawa, ipaalam niyo po sa amin, Panginoon. Lord, reveal unto us the right partners, Father God, that will bring us to our destiny in you, O Lord, in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now, we receive your healing. We receive your miracle. We receive your success. And we receive your victory. Ura rabakanda, rabakanda. Ura rabakanda, rabakanda. Ura rabakanda, rabakanda. Sa oras na ito, ano man ang problema, pagsubong laban ng buhay mo, sakit karamdaman mo, gumagawa po ang Diyos ng Himalang. Yes, 
the Lord is healing you, the Lord is performing miracle in you, the Lord is doing great in your life right now. So thank the Lord, receive it my brethren. Tanggapin mo sa pangalan ni Kristo Jesus. Tanggapin mo. Tanggapin mo. Yung mga naguguluhan dyan, solve na ngayon ang problem mo. Clean mind, peace mind. Yes. You are in trouble before. Now peace of mind. You are in chaos. In confusion. But the Lord is clearing, cleaning your mind. Giving you peace of mind in Jesus' name. Those who are suffering from headaches, migraines, and all kinds of sicknesses and diseases. Those who have neck problems, yung mga may problema sa leeg, o ano man ang sakit karamdaman mo riyan, sa tenga, vertigo. Yes, be healed in Jesus' name. Ear problem, vertigo, be healed in Jesus' name. Pagkahilo, always fainting, always vomiting, vomiting, laging nagsusuka. Receive it right now in Jesus' name. Let the blind see. Let the deaf hear. The mute speak. And those who cannot walk in the wheelchair, walk, rise up in Jesus' name. The Son of the living God. Lahat ng may utang, let it be canceled. Lahat ng may cancer, nasa coronavirus, be healed in Jesus' name. Suffering from cancer, cancer and coronavirus, be healed in Jesus' name. All debts, lahat ng utang, be canceled in Jesus' name. Oh, rarabari bibiyan, rarabakanda. And Father God, remove the wicked, government officials and politicians, Lord, here in the Philippines and in the nations of the world. Ang galin niyo po yung mga maling tao sa gobyerno dito sa Pilipinas at sa buong mundo. At sa darating na eleksyon, Ilalagay nyo lamang po ang tamang tao. In this coming election, you will put up only a righteous person that will glorify your name, that will become your instruments of righteousness to uplift the lives of the Filipino people, to uplift the lives of the, the people of the, of the earth, especially the needy and the poor. Oh, thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Sa so, purihin ng pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos sa buhay, magpasalamat na po tayo, mga minamahal. Sapagat ang Diyos ay gumawa ng dakilang bagay sa oras na ito. Alam mo, damang-dam ako eh. I really feel it. The Lord uh, did great and mighty things in our lives right now. So sa lahat po ng mga, mga nakinig at nanood, no? Itayo natin ang Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship sa anumang panig ng mundo. Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship. Ibigay natin ang ating mga ikapo, handog, first first donation, love, gift, pledges sa Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship. Suportahan natin ang ating ministeryo. Suportahan natin ang Minister of Compassion, ang radio and television programs, ang social media, ang YouTube, ang, 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 ang KOJF Church, ang, 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 ang Panfades. Suportahan po natin. Ang ating mission to the world, suportahan po natin. Pray and fast. Like, share, and subscribe, and follow. Huwag natin kalilimutan yan. Kung may may tutulong pa po ang iyong lingkod, eh, kumunta ka lang, mag-message ka lang, mag-PM ka lang. No? Pwede kang mag-call o mag-text 0998 989 0917-152-1963 Zero nine nine eight nine eight nine two nine six three and zero nine one seven one five two one nine six three or PM here for your counseling, for your prayer request, and for your financial support. Glory to God, and for your testimony, and to attend to our church services in different parts of the world. Do malo tayo sa sa gawain ng Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship buong mundo. At itayo, itayo natin ang Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship Buong mundo attend To churches Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship churches In different parts of the world Pray and pass For me and my family Because me and my family Are always praying for you Ipinapanalangin ka namin palagi Ipinagayuno ka namin palagi Ako at ang pamilya ko So huwag niyo po akong kalimutan At ang tanahing pamilya 
At ang kingdom of Jesus fellowship. Na unawahan po natin mga minama. Attend, attend ha. We have different churches in different parts of the world. So every Sunday here at the main church, kada Sunday dito sa main church, number 6060 Exeter Street, Conception 1, Marikina City. 6060 Exeter Street, Conception 1, Marikina City. Near Rasta Lopez. If you will wait, if you will use the ways, just type Kingdom of Jesus. And it will come out, it will it will emerge. It will lead you to this place. The ways will lead you to this place. Tadaling ka ng ways sa lugar na ito, itay mo Kingdom of Jesus. Malapit sa Rastin Office. 60 Exeter Ex Street, Conception 1, Marikina City. Glory to God. Malapit sa Rastin Office. Alas 10 ng umaga, 10 a.m. And 2.30 in the afternoon. Alas 2 in media ng hapon. Kada linggo po yan, mga minama. And every Wednesday and Friday, we have uh, services, midweek services, Victoria services. We have live streaming. Wednesday and Friday at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So, purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoong Christo Boas and we lift our hands to the Lord. So, thank you, Father God. We bless your name. We glorify your name. We bring back the glory and thanksgiving to all the, to, you, to, 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 to you, Lord. All in Jesus' name. Lahat, Panginoon, tanang, gabos, ibinibigay sa iyong dakilang pangalan. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. So purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoong Yusama. God bless you. And God bless you more.